This is a very common question I get from students, and it's a real common concern among students that perhaps are less technical in nature in terms of, oh my God, I don't know programming. That's okay. We'll teach you the programming you need, or we'll at least provide you the framework and the structure so that you can learn the programming you need. Uh, that said, never hurts to get ahead. Uh, and let me backtrack a little by saying, you know, for the students that, that aren't as technically inclined, when I kind of picture, you know, the, the, the space that the MIS program uh, occupies, we can have students that are incredibly technical in nature, that have all kinds of programming experience and project management experience, uh, but they want to they want to be able to then kind of fulfill more of that managerial, more of that leadership, more of that that innovation role. And so that's one side of the spectrum. The other side of the spectrum is, you know, we have students that are those talented managers, that are those talented leaders, that are absolute experts in a particular industry or particular space, but they want to be more technical. And so really what we're trying to do is we're trying to have both sets of students kind of meet in the middle. The more highly technical students will learn some of these strategic leadership uh, objectives and, and, and some of the managerial skills and the project management, project management, you know, all the different pieces that we, we implement in our journeys. Whereas the students that are experts in that area, we do want to make them more technical. And so we're kind of doing both and we're having both groups meet in the middle. So for those non-technical students that maybe they want to, you know, start exploring some of these items ahead of time, start to gain some experience with uh, structured query language, SQL, the language that we use to really kind of interrogate databases, feed information into and out of relational databases, and it kind of forms the basis for some of our reporting. Uh, the other uh, typical thing that we recommend is maybe start to learn a little bit of Python. Uh, Python could potentially underlie many of the classes or none of the classes, depending on how you choose to pursue projects and the angle you choose and things like that. Um, I read a really interesting book once. It was a, a sci-fi book. It's called Rapture for the Geeks. And uh, uh, one of the quotes in there was, well, it's good to learn, and I'm paraphrasing, but uh, it's good to learn a programming language because when computers take over the world, at least we can speak their language. <laughs> and so... <laughs> You know, even if it's not a, a huge need or a huge draw on the program, because some classes are very strategic in nature and they won't require any shred of programming whatsoever. It's still good to have that underlying program knowledge anyway. Uh, and this will change and morph over time. But right now, Python is really one of the languages out there with the most amount of utility to it, which is why you see so many free resources for it out there. Now, in terms of some of the tooling uh, that, that we will em uh, employ and implement within the program, there's a lot. Uh, and it's a student's experience is going to vary based on uh, the types of classes they take. It's going to vary based on the instructors for those classes. You know, we could have two sections of a class and, you know, one instructor might choose R to implement predictive analytics. Another might choose Python. Another might choose uh, uh, SAS or SPSS. So, you know, still the same underlying foundational knowledge at the end of the day, just different tooling to implement that. Um, but when we look at some of the types of tooling that, that we employ throughout the program, I'll just rattle off a few names here. It's by no means uh, comprehensive, uh, and it is by no means mutually exclusive uh, per, per class section or instructor. But, you know, we're using different kinds of reporting or data visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI. We're using different kinds of relational database tools, such as Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle DBMS or Oracle's live DB, DBMS version. Uh, we're using virtualization tools like VMware. We're using cloud uh, platforms like Amazon, AWS, or uh, Microsoft Azure, either their platform as a service or infrastructure as a service uh, offerings. Uh, we're using things like uh, Salesforce. In the InfoSec space, we're using tools like Splunk or uh, Wireshark. Uh, in the, some of the statistical analytics space, we're using tools like um, R or UCINet or Orange or SAS Data Miner. Um, a few other tools that are out there, um, you know, we have uh, one of the things we're going to talk about in a little bit is generative AI and large language models. Uh, we have one uh, uh, one professor out there that's using the different open AI open source platforms to develop different uh, local large language models that can literally run on a desktop, laptop, smart device even. And so he does demos with that. Uh, we're using tools like Spirium for uh, identity and, and, and privacy uh, types of uh, lessons. Uh, we're using tools like Marvel for UI and UX design. We're using Trello and Microsoft um, uh, Project for our different project management tools. Um, and that's just to name a few. I don't want to overwhelm students, but, you know, we are we are heavy on the tooling piece. Uh, the tooling is used and implemented in such a way that it, uh, it reinforces some of the classroom, uh, a lot of the classroom instruction uh, that we're ultimately uh, providing for students. It's an aggressive program. It's it's a one-year program and students are walking away from a lot with that one-year program. And we have made structural uh, changes to try to make that more um, 
uh, digestible to students so that they can reasonably kind of absorb all this knowledge. But, you know, I think that's w one of the many selling points of this program is you're through it in a year and you, you're going to get a huge depth of information, um, you know, through, through your journey as you progress through the different semesters with these different classes.